Hi everyone, this is Mike Sherry. I'm Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. And I get the question from time to time, Mike, I've heard stories of how campers, how they last, or maybe they don't last very long because they're not built very well. Uh, is there a camper out there that's constructed better than other campers? And yes, yes there is. Uh, the Keystone Outback is in my experience, one of the best constructed uh, travel trailers out on the market. And it, it gives you a better, thicker wall, better insulation package, more pricier amenities, I would say, in it. And uh, you can just feel it when you walk in that this is a superior built travel trailer. This travel trailer is gonna allow you to camp in some really cool weather uh, where the temperatures drop below freezing because it is insulated better and also some really hot weather because of that insulation as well. Uh, you'll be able to camp in in this, this travel trailer here. So if you're thinking about possibly living on the road in a travel trailer, this is definitely one to keep your eyes on. Uh, so I'm going to turn this around. What we're looking at today is the 340BH Keystone Outback. This is the new 2020 model. This floor plan's been out for a year and it uh, has really taken off well. It has a lot of nice uh, things about the layout that a lot of customers are attracted to. So I'm going to turn this around and we will show you what makes this more of a superior constructed uh, and usable travel trailer. Now with the superior construction, you're, you're going to add some weight to this travel trailer. So this is not going to be your half ton towable travel trailer. It's going to weigh 8,700 pounds. Uh, so you're going to need a three quarter ton truck or better to tow this. Uh, but that's kind of the price you pay to get that upgraded construction. Uh, the Keystone Outback is going to be a full profile travel trailer. This particular one features the really awesome front cap. So I talk about front caps a lot and this is what they call a full front cap. So you notice it starts up here about a foot into the roof line, which is how you want it. Wraps all the way down the front and all the way into the bottom. This is a full cap. Uh, it's uh, automotive paint up here on the black, has docking lights. This lower black section is actually uh, covered with a like a rhino liner material, a, a bed liner material. So that's going to act as your rock guard. Uh, and notice also how the cap, it, it comes around to the side several inches. That's going to just keep the nose of this travel trailer nice and tight and nicely constructed together. Keystone Outbacks come with the BAL leveling system and there's two different styles. There's the 5.1, which is what this is equipped with, and the 7.3. The 7.3 is an auto leveling, the 5.1 is an auto stabilizing. So the difference between the two is this system will automatically stabilize your camper with the auto uh, stabilizers. The 7.1 will actually level the camper like a Class A motorhome would level it. Keystone Outbacks come with the big propane bottles. It comes for, with a spot for up to two batteries up front here. We provide one brand new battery and full propane at the dealership at no additional cost. This particular floor plan, the 340BH, has what I call the drop frame up front here that drops the front of this uh, A-frame here. That allows for this cargo bay not to be up so high and therefore the bed inside not to be so high off the ground. It allows for a bigger cargo bay as you can see here, nice and tall cargo bay. Uh, a little bit more expensive to build it that way, but the trailer is going to tow better. It lowers the center, center of gravity and gives you a lot of benefits with the storage space and the bed height inside. You notice the aluminum construction here that's going to be throughout this camper that's what's on the inner workings of these walls uh, and it's allows for it to be really constructed well two slide outs on this side here um, again this camper can be camped in in cooler weather it has an insulated underbelly uh, this is your dump station here and notice the gate valves you can't see them because they're actually in that insulated part of the underbelly uh, where which that's where the water stops right so you want that area to be insulated and heated uh, to keep that from freezing so they, they do do it right uh, if you're out shopping for a camper and you 
uh, are going to be camping in that cooler weather, you need to make sure those gate valves are in that insulated underbelly. Uh, a lot of companies will say they're extended season. I even saw a four season sticker on the side of a camper the other day that definitely was not. So just know what you're looking for there. All right, we have a ladder to get up onto the roof here. And we also have the travel rack. So two nice features. The travel rack's gonna hold up to 200 pounds. You can put your bicycles on there. Uh, I've seen customers put a generator on the back of there. You can put totes of your stuff, whatever that may be on the back of that. So also an extreme curvature to the roof. That's not my camera. Uh, that is how this camper is built. And the more curve you have to the roof, the less likely water is gonna sit up there. Again, another superior construction technique that the Outback uses. All right, coming to the fun side of the camper, we have the Solera uh, power awning. That's got a couple cool features. I'll show you when we get to it. I have it out, as you can see. Uh, also have the spare tire mounted underneath the, the underbelly there, as you can see. And we have this attraction here. This is the outside kitchen. So it's gonna come with the biggest solid dorm fridge that I believe they make. Some cabinet storage up here. A nice countertop that's made out of some type of metal material, so it's going to last being out here in the elements. Uh, some, again, power hookup and TV hookup. Also comes with this two burner uh, stove top here. And then uh, a faucet here. Now this faucet, those hot and cold waters you can see, and it also has a drain. We don't all the time find that in an outside kitchen, a drain. So that's a nice feature to have. Tinted windows as well all around this travel trailer that's going to keep uh, the extreme UV light from penetrating inside and heating up this camper. Also allows for some privacy. Looking at the wheels here, they are alloy wheels as you can see, so that's not going to be a painted wheel where the paint's going to flake and it's not going to be a steel wheel uh, that's going to rust on you, so it's a, it's a superior wheel. They also use the nicest steps in the industry, uh, the step above steps. Those steps are going to fold into the camper when you're not using the camp or the, not using the camper, not using the steps. And also when you're traveling, which really makes it nice to keeps them, keeps the steps out of the, the elements, out of the road debris area. And uh, another thing about these steps is they touch the ground. So they're super stable compared to what we've seen in the industry. Uh, again, this is a 340BH. 2020 Keystone Outback. Let's check out the inside. Oh, I do want to show you something cool on this awning before we do. So it's got the lights on both sides of the awning arms, which is really cool. All right, enough of that. So let's check out the inside. We'll start in the rear, work our way up the trailer. Okay, so we'll walk through the kitchen to get to the rear of the trailer, which is going to be the bunkhouse has a nice solid door as you can see here and we have a spot sleeping for up to uh, you could sleep four back here if you had to so one bunk up here for sleeping you do have a ladder to get up in there a lot of a lot of manufacturers miss that spot you have a spot for television and storage here and a giant window here and then on this side I have the bunk folded up uh, but this is a bunk let's see if I can get it down with one hand I don't think I can I might be able to yeah so we have the top bunk there you can sleep and then this couch comes out for extra sleeping as well so up to four people back here all right the kitchen is really nice for a bunkhouse trailer. I think that's what attracts a lot of families to this because typically you lose your kitchen when you hit the bunkhouse, but let's just, just take a step back and look here. So this is looking back. We have the dinette off to the left, an island with a sink in it, a nice uh, residential style 12 volt refrigerator, uh, and a lot of countertop space as you can see here. And then behind this barn door, I've actually got it open, uh, but this is your pantry back here. And it doubles as a hanging closet if needed. Gigantic fireplace, space heater, 
comes with the Jensen radio to power the speakers inside and out. Sorry if that music's bugging you. Uh, more pantry space back there. And then two really nice theater seats here. So those are really comfortable. This uh, furniture is made by Thomas Payne, which is a residential style furniture producer. So it, it's a nice, they're, they're big, they're comfortable. You can sit in them very nicely. Cup holders in the center there. And then those are direct, have direct view of the television, which the television comes up here. Let's see if I can find the button. So it comes up here. Uh, right out of the countertop here. And this countertop is all a solid surface material, which is, you know, one of the best type of countertops that you can get. Uh, again, a little bit better construction materials that we find in this Keystone Outback. So giant TV that comes up here, that's probably a 50 inch uh, Jensen. So it matches the name brand of the radio. And one thing about Jensen a lot of people don't realize is Jensen's been around for a long time building uh, electronics for RVs. They realize that they're going to vibrate while going down the road. And then they also realize that while in storage that these campers are going to experience some extreme temperatures while not being used. So This has the big oven in it. Uh, just about twice as big as what we typically see in a travel trailer. Uh, still has the three burner uh, top up here and the glass cover for when you're not using it. Uh, this refrigerator is really unique. So we've had this for about two years in the industry now. Really haven't had any trouble out of them. It's called the Ever Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. Thanks for a big refrigerator. And it works just simply off battery power. That's all I'm using right now, and it's nice and cool in there. Okay, let's check out the bathroom, and then we'll go into the bedroom. So on our way up here, we have our control panel here. This is going to control our three slide-out rooms, our power awning, some of the stealing lights, and also this is going to control your water pump and water heater. So the water heater on this uh, has two modes of power. Uh, you can use it on electric or LP gas, and then you can check the levels of your various holding tanks right on this panel as well. So nice clean look for that. Bathroom is very nice. Uh, has a shower in it, stand up shower with a glass door as you can see, skylight above. Uh, off to the left here we have your sink and medicine cabinet and off to the right here we have your foot flush stool. Through this door here is your master bedroom. It's gonna come with a nice queen bed. Uh, easy to walk around all three sides of the bed. I've got the TV box at the foot of this bed. So unfortunately I can't walk around it right now. Uh, and on both sides of the bed you have wardrobes. They are really tall wardrobes so you can actually hang your clothes up in it. And it does have an extra nook and a drawer down here. That's nice. And then we have another nook in here, great spot for your phones and great spot to charge your phones because there's both USB and your 120 volt power. Now there's a surprise underneath the bed and uh, I sometimes like to think there's a surprise in the bed, but there's not a surprise in the bed, there's a surprise underneath the bed and that is this right here. It has a little pet crate in here. Uh, so if you do have a pet, you don't need to bring the crate along. You can use this area under here. Notice the floor is all leno, so it's easy to keep clean. Great thinking there. Uh, one more thing before we end this video, I do want to show you the, the roof line of this. The ceiling line is a molded ceiling, so it uh, replicates that curve I was showing you on the outside. Uh, and also check out the, the lighting. Uh, that's actually a skylight as well, and that's right above the island. So nice natural light and some artificial light up there as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, the purpose that we do these videos is to inform you and show you what's cool out in the industry and also to encourage you if you are looking for an RV, uh, no matter where you're at, uh, consider Paul Sherry RVs. We have customers from all around the United States uh, because we are generally the best price. We don't have all those gimmicky fees that a lot of dealers, including your local and national dealers, are charging uh, thousands of dollars in extra fees. Uh, and we have a great reputation. Check that out at Google. Type in Paul Sherry RVs. Take a look at what customers are saying about us. So thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. If you could subscribe to our channel and uh, go do something fun today. Make it a point.